According to the American Sleep Association, up to 70 million adults in the United States have a sleep disorder. Apparently in the past, scientists thought that you could make up for lost sleep, but new research is showing you may not be able to pay off your sleep debt. News 9's Robin Marsh has today's Medical Minute. Well, we hear it all the time. Sleep is an important part for your overall health. But more than one in three Americans do not get enough sleep on a regular basis. I don't get enough sleep at night. Probably like five, if I'm being honest, maybe six. When I wake up, I'm tired. You know, I can feel it when I don't get enough. If you think you can make up for missed sleep by sleeping in on the weekends, think again. A new review published in the journal Trends in Neurosciences found sleep deprivation in mice led to cell death in the brain just after a few days. It also caused inflammation in the prefrontal cortex and increased levels of proteins like the diseases linked to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Sleep is the VIP service everybody needs. Regardless of age, um, sleep is so important to our system. It affects basically every area of our life. If you're struggling to squeeze in enough sleep, try to set a schedule. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. Make sure the bedroom is dark, cool, and quiet. And don't take naps longer than 20 minutes. Avoid caffeine and alcohol throughout the day. And if you can't fall asleep after 20 minutes, then get up, do something else, try to calm down, maybe even read a book. If you're really struggling though, talk with your doctor about medication options. As for the mice that had been sleep deprived, they still suffered damage even after a full year of regular sleep, suggesting you really can't undo the effects. Most sleep studies on brains have been done in animals, so there's currently no ethical way to measure the degree of cell damage caused by sleep deprivation in a living human. Well, for today's Medical Minute, get some good rest out there. I'm Robin Marsh.